everyone welcome back to my channel I'm going to let you guys know what my favorites were for the month of May if you can even believe it it is June um, tomorrow 30 days in May 31 days in May who knows it's June very soon the weather in Halifax has still been a little on off we've had a few nice days but there have been some fantastic products that have really made my month for May so let's get right into it. The first one is actually kind of a replacement for a previous Holy Grail product of mine. This is the Bioderma Sensibio 3-in-1 uh, One-Step Cleansing Milk. And this stuff is definitely replacing my Philosophy Purity. So Philosophy Purity for 240 mils, it retails for about $28. This is $18 and it does go on sale all the time for $14.99. Plus you get 250 mils in this bottle. So for the price difference alone, it's absolutely a no brainer for what one you should buy. This one has zero scent. The Purity one does have a little bit of a scent to me. Um, it's not offensive by any means. I love that product, don't get me wrong. But this is the same kind of a cleanser in that you can rub it on your eyes. You don't necessarily have to rinse it off if you don't want to. You can just apply it with a cotton pad, sweep it across the face. I've used it both ways. I've used it um, with a cotton pad just wiping everything off and then I've also used it in the sink as a regular cleanser and it is phenomenal. I used it and I actually went over my skin again with my Bioderma Cleansing Water which you guys know I absolutely love that product as well. And I wasn't able to get any makeup off of my skin, so this really did a good job at taking everything off. And for the price of it, and for the fact that you can get it at the drugstore, super happy with that. The next thing is my NYX Micro Brow Pencil. Ooh, I almost dropped it. This was something that Almira brought me back when she was in Vegas. And one of my Instagram friends, Steph, has told me that she has now seen it in London Drugs, I believe in British Columbia somewhere. So hopes are good that it is coming to Canada very soon because I don't even know how much I have left oh yeah I don't have a lot left I don't know if you guys can see that but once this runs out I'm in trouble because this is a new holy grail must-have I absolutely love it double-ended brush comes with the spoolie on the other side I use it in the color ash brown and the color does match me but I would like it in a lighter color as well um, I really like to use two different colors in my brows, so putting more of like a taupe ash color in the inner corner here just to start feathering everything out and then making it a little bit darker the farther down it gets to the tail. That's usually what I like to do, so when I finally am able to get my hands on these, I'll probably repurchase this one here in ash brown and also the one in taupe as well. So another product that I've been raving about lately is the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer SPF 30 PA++++ and I have this little tiny 2 mil sample and it has finally, like it is gone. It is gone. I've used it all. The shade was in Alaska and it worked really well for me. I love the way it made my skin look. It gave me a really nice dewy finish. I love that it has an SPF 30 and next time I travel and I'm at a Mural, I'm actually going to get this with my optimum points. That's the plan. So uh, this actually coincides with my next favorite because I'm going to be using it on this. And it's this little tiny beauty spatula. I don't know if you guys have ever seen these anywhere. I get this at Sephora for around $7 and it is totally worth it. So for those products, perfect example, like the NARS, that you really love and you're super upset when they're gone, you can cut the product open and you can actually like scoop every last drop out of the bottle with this. It's also really good because it's so thin and skinny that it can fit into most foundation bottles. If you have a glass bottle that has a smaller neck, you're still able to really get in and make sure that you're using all of your products up. So I've been using this actually quite a bit this month to finish off some products, and it's just super helpful. Whoever invented that, I hope they're rich because it's one of those little things that you don't really think about, but then when you see it, you're like, oh my god, I've needed one of those my whole life. I am finally, finally on the Becca train. I was so late to the game with Becca. It's not something that's available to purchase in store in Halifax and I'm really someone that likes to see something in person before I buy it. I'm not a huge online shopper for cosmetics, for clothing, for anything really. I really want to be able to see it and feel the texture and see what the colors are like. But in the Bronze Bears All set that I did a Worth It or Not video on a few days ago I believe, 
Um, I got the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal, and these are completely worth all of the hype that they get. They're so creamy. I do feel like if I was ever to drop this that it might shatter because it does feel kind of like Stila's Kitten. It has that really soft texture that's easy to smash, I feel. But this is stunning. It's a little bit more of like a rose gold highlight and I definitely want to try Moonstone because I think that one's more of like a true more white highlight and that's really what I want because I'm so fair. I like really, really strong highlights. But as soon as I get a little bit of a tan going, I'm super, super excited to put this everywhere. I've been wearing it pretty much every single day since I got it. This will also come to no surprise to any of you. I have filmed a full review on this product and something happened with the audio. I don't know what I did or what I pressed or what happened, but there's two of me talking at the same time about obviously the same product, but different timings with the two voices. So I'm trying to figure out that video because it was filmed. It is ready. I just need to go back and see if I can fix this audio part for you. But this product is the Paracone MD No Mascara Mascara. This I got in a sample of the No Makeup Makeup Kit from Paracone. And it has been a wild love affair. So this product only comes in black brown, which I thought was a little interesting. When I first started using it, I just thought it was a black mascara, to be honest. It doesn't look like a black brown. It looks definitely strictly black, but it only comes in black brown. It's $36 to purchase the full size tube. So it's definitely, definitely a pricey mascara, but this gives me absolutely everything that I could ever ask in a mascara. It has knocked my Lancome Hypnose out of the park, which is really saying something and I just can't imagine being without it. So I'm still using this little sample that I got and when it's gone, I'm definitely going to be repurchasing. The wand is very different. It has like a really skinny row of like combs and then it has three rows of like spiky cone shaped bristles. It's very different. It, uh, it's definitely something if you're someone that loves to use mascaras and you love to try the new ones, definitely try this out. I know it's expensive, but I promise you, you will not be disappointed. The next thing is another product that I got in the Sephora Bronze Bears All set. And this was really surprising to me how much I liked it. It is the Sephora Contour Eye Pencil 12 Hour Wear Waterproof and the shade is in Coco, Coco, number 14. And it has a shimmer in it. So normally I'm not a huge fan of eyeliners that have actual glitter in them because I feel like they irritate my eyes. And I use this, I've been on the hunt for a really long time for a gel eyeliner or any eyeliner really that I could apply on my tight line underneath of my top lashes that wouldn't transfer onto the bottom lashes. So today obviously I have eyeliner all around my eyes and that's on purpose. But I've been wearing this the last couple of days and what happens is I can put it underneath of my bottom lashes so it doesn't look like I have eyeliner on. It just gives me that definition at the lash line. And then um, it doesn't transfer onto my bottom at all. Like it doesn't move. It was super inexpensive. I think these are probably around like $15 to purchase individually. So I'm going to go in and see what other colors they have because the formula is amazing. All right, guys. So I saved my absolute favorite thing of this month for last. This is the NARS Christopher Kane Blush in Starscape and just have a gander at this. This blush is fantastic. I am wearing it today, so as you can see, it doesn't look like a bright, bright neon pink blush. I showed this to my mother the first time that um, I saw her and I had it, and she was like, Sarah, come on, like you're going a little bit too far. And then when I actually had it on one day, I was like, this is the pink blush that I showed you. And she's like, oh, it doesn't look that bad at all. So I definitely recommend, I did use just a regular blush brush with it today and I was fine, but I still prefer the way that it looks when I use a fan brush. So just any sort of a brush that has a really light touch to it. You really don't need a lot of this product, but it lasts on my skin all day long and I absolutely love the color. All right, guys, so those are my favorites. I also wanted to add in my Paracone MD No Lipstick Lipstick, but as I mentioned before, that is still at Dana's house. I don't know if I will ever see it again. I, uh, I keep forgetting to remind her to bring it to me. So that is just a lipstick that's a really basic color. It has an SPF in it. It's such a great lipstick for just throwing in your purse when you're on the go. So that is definitely in my favorites again this year. And I am going to see if I can do some blogging. I have a little bit of work to do and then I have to go to my 
actual job today. So I will talk to you all very soon and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye.